Bonjour gamers, how y'all doing today? Cuties, we gotta talk about something important today. Is Grudge being botted? I do think that over the past couple days since the patch release, uh, bots have been able to get into the Throne Spire a lot easier with the boost. Uh, and I'm gonna be kind of showing off why I think Grudge might be getting botted or is the FOMO season over and now it's just at its regular price. But before we jump into it, you guys know the drill. If you like my content, sub to the channel. If you like the videos, make sure to like them and check me out on Twitch if you hear me right now. It is crucial that you click that link in the description box because I'm already live. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, I would highly, highly recommend you guys check it out. Now let's jump into this video. So the first piece of compounding evidence is this Sork bot just absolutely annihilating the Thornspire. Now, as you can see, he's using some Ancient Arcana. This He must have just watched a Multiverse of Madness. Uh, this man is teleporting all over the place and just doing some straight-up Doctor Strange shit. Now, I can only show prices in NA East because that's the region that I play in. Uh, but Grudge had started to plummet after the patch. On the Ju uh, July update, we started to receive paid power passes. We got the Honing buffs. We got a ton of powerful stuff. And around that time, Grudge stopped sitting comfortably from like, you know, 13 to 12k and started to go down to 10k, then 9k, and even went as low as like 8k slash 8.5k gold uh, just a couple days ago. Now, after seeing the video that I showed you guys and after seeing the price of Grudge get affected, I was still reluctant to make this video because I didn't want to make like a the sky is falling type video or anything, you know what I mean? Uh, and I wanted to have more of a discussion with you guys. The thing that really pushed me to say, okay, maybe I should talk about this is the fact that when uh, Smogator Amazon blocked the sale of power passes, so you cannot just instantly power pass to the end right now, they actually blocked it uh, for the time being, the price of Grudge started to go back up. Now, Grudge isn't the only thing that you get that's tradable from doing the Thornspire. Another thing are these honing books. Now, it's difficult to pinpoint if these went down again naturally because we did get those plus 20% honing books from the express pass on the same day as the patch but if you notice here on july 21st which was the day after the july update uh things stayed pretty consistent these books stayed around 300 gold for a couple of days and then as the week progressed they started to get lower and lower and lower and going as low as like 100 gold uh you know going right before they actually put uh, like not a ceasefire, but they stopped people from being able to buy Punica passes. Uh, these were at like 130 uh, to 150. It's hard to say if these things are going down organically or if it's actually because of botting. The other side of the coin is that realistically, Grudge was FOMO'd like crazy. I know I FOMO'd like crazy and I wanted to get Grudge right away because I knew that that's when Grudge was supposed to be the lowest, so I have to buy Grudge. And I'm happy with my Grudge purchase. But I wanted to have this conversation with you guys. Are the bots actually affecting the price of Grudge? Even if they're able to block the bots from you, from buying a Punica Power Pass, getting to T3 still isn't the longest thing ever. There are T3 bots running around. And if they're able to then cheat in the Thornspire and just delete it the second they have access to it, that's going to bring down the price of engravings. And that's going to have permanent damage to the game because, let's say life skills. Bots pretty much destroy uh, the value of all life skill materials. However, if by some miracle one day uh, this, like, bots are, are solved in, in NA, maybe they ask for, like, I don't know, we have to send a little bit of our, like, toe jam to identify ourselves, whatever it is, these could go back in price because there is a natural supply and demand for this. However, something like engraving books, this is permanent damage. And it's not just a grudge. Grudge is the most expensive one, but if grudge starts getting farmed like crazy and it keeps going down in price, then it'll be Keen Blunt. Then it could be Cursed Doll. Then it could be whatever comes next because these are permanent powers that are put onto your account. And so bots farming this will permanently ruin the value of these items in the game forever. But again, this could just be a natural decline in the desire for grudge because realistically, we're playing this game with like 40-40 heat vision, right? And we know from Korea every single minute little thing that's supposed to change and happen to us. And that makes us have weird outcomes because of that. It is possible that Grudge just fell naturally because people who wanted it really badly got it already. And so now it's just going to go for more regular prices because realistically Grudge has been at an insanely high price for the level of gold inflation that we actually have in NA. But this is why I want to have the conversation with you guys. Do you think Grudge is being botted? Do you think the Thorn Spire is being botted? Uh, or do you think it's just a natural deflation of its value? Do you think people just FOMO it out and now it's just going down in value because, you know, less people want it? I do find it kind of weird how the day that they stopped people from buying Punica Power Passes, Grudge suddenly shot up in price. I remember actually even seeing 
uh, the post about it, like in my stream, and the price of grudge shot up a thousand gold. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> So I do think it might be getting botted, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think is affecting these prices? And also to open this discussion and kind of shine light onto it, because if that is the case, I do think that this is something that's very, very, very important that is looked at, because even if bots aren't able uh, to actually just, you know, like instantly start at tier three, I think the fact that, you know, it's been months now that bots are able to like one shot bosses and just do a ton of damage and kind of break the game and it hasn't been resolved. I think that's really, really bad. And this is could be something that has a massive effect on NAE region. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, make sure to like them and check me out on Twitch. If you are hearing me right now, I am already live on that bad boy, so be sure to click that link. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.